Patrick Conley, and so is Kel. So we only got close to the fight. We only getting closer and closer to the fight. This is the closest we've ever got from making that fight happen. Let's get past the record. Let's not miss out. Let's keep on. I made that mistake before, and uh, take it from there. I mean, it's five years since he's been in the race. Race has changed a lot in the last five years. Yeah. Been put on the map. Is there any being ringside at these fights? Is there any particular moment that you watch where you thought, I want to be a fighter again? I want to be. You know, you look at the uh, great fighters like you know. Uh, uh, Joshua's and all like cleaning up, doing really well, uh, knocking guys out, uh, setting up stadiums, and I'm like, wow, you know, this is amazing. This is why I'm gonna be where where I wanna be again. Uh, I've done it in the past, and I wanna do it again. I know I've got this fighting style. The uh, crowd will come and watch me and wanna see me. So, I mean, you know, fights like the Joshua, like, they kind of give you that inspiration, you know, to come out there and do well and uh, sell out stadiums again. And boxing is on a high. What what Eddie's doing with Sky? Uh, how much Sky Sports is back in boxing now. I think this is what we needed. People need to understand that boxing is one of the toughest sports in the world and one of the biggest sports in the world. So what Eddie's doing with boxing, I think is amazing. And that's the reason I thought, you know, let's, Speak, let's meet. Speaking let's, of boxing, what do you think of the Canelo fight? Um, I think it, it's a, it was a little bit lenient. I think it's a little bit yeah. beefy and non-butyrol mofo. Get him out. Yeah, but look, it, it is what it is. Look, at the end of the day, uh, let's see how Canelo comes back. He knows that he's been caught once. He might not be on that. Maybe he was on... You know, take I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to. You don't know if he was on it, but look, it is where it is. It, it's the past now. He beat me fair and square. I'm not going to say anything about it. He was a bigger guy. He was a better guy that night. And I, I don't know if he was taking anything when he fought me, but look, it is where it is. My aim now is to beat Le Le Greco and get back onto the top again. You said I mean, you said get back onto the top. Your assessment of the best four welterweights out there at the moment? I mean, you've got Thurman there. You've got Spence. Uh, you've got you know you've got names like uh, Garcia there. You've got myself there. You've got uh, Kelbo. Just moved up to uh, my middle now. So, you know, there's, some, there's a few big names out there. Also, you've got people like Brona, uh, Vargas. So, there's, there's a lot of names. The Welterweight Division has some big names. Also, Manny Pacquiao, we can't forget him. Uh, got, he's fighting Matisse for another world title. So, the Welterweight Division hold, holds some big, massive names. And I really think that once I get past the Greco, that's where I belong. Now, you've had names. a bit of a love hate relationship with Eddie Hearn in the past. But I think it's a bit of a loving at the moment. Mm. Apart from the fact that he's a great promoter. <laughs> A couple of things that you love about Eddie and a couple of things that you think he loves about you. I, think, I, I mean, I, I like Eddie's dress sense, he dresses well, he's got a nice, he's got a, he's got a nice few watches, nice haircut, he's looking well. I mean, look, end of the day, what I, what I respect Eddie about is what he's done with boxing in Britain. I mean, British boxing was really dying and what Eddie's done is bought, brought it back alive again and that's what we needed. I mean, I remember the days when I used to fight in America all the time because in Britain, boxing wasn't as big uh, as, what, as where we wanted it to be. But in America, I was fighting there because I wanted to make a big name for myself and globally become a star. But guess what? No fighters are coming from America to England because obviously what Eddie's done and what, what Sky Sports are doing, I think it's massive. And it's only making boxing a better sport and making it a bigger sport. People respect it more. You walk around the streets, people are talking about boxing. These are non-boxing fans who know about boxing now. So we have definitely uh, targeted, targeted a new audience. And yeah, man, it's going the right way. Final one from me. We've heard that one of your good friends the next footballer, Dennis Wise, might be coming to watch you on Saturday. Oh, yeah. What are you going to do to guarantee that he gets a good view? Because you can't have any big five footers uh, in yeah, front of him well, blocking his view. Oh, I just want to say a uh, big thanks to Matthew for arranging uh, my jungle family some tickets ringside. So don't worry, he'll be close to the ring. Uh, I know he's a short guy, but he'll manage to look over. Uh, yeah. so